guys. Always great to be with you here in the shop. We have another fun project, so I want to invite you to come on over here and let's take a closer look. Well guys, just got back from the flea market and picked up some things. Uh, in the winter time, I don't usually go to the Strawtown flea market because it's kind of cold and you only get a few people there. And today was no exception. There were probably 10 booths and that was about it. But I picked up some neat stuff. So come on down here on the bench. Let's take a look. All right, let me show you what we picked up. This first one is this channel locks, pair of channel locks. Now, Lord knows I don't need any more channel locks. But I saw this and it's a little bit unique. At first, I thought it was the slip joints that you get in some of the channel locks but this is actually has the channels but what i like about it is just look how thin that is right there and so you could use that to get into some tight places it's a utica and just in really good shape there's some rust on it and a lot of tarnish but these could clean up really really nice so i went ahead and picked those up next thing i got was this Klein, let's see, there we go, Klein screwdriver. Nothing spectacular, nothing special about it, but I think those tips are hardened, and so that is of good value when you want to make sure it doesn't bend or twist. I have a tendency, my craftsman here has a tendency to twist and bend on that end, but I don't think that will do it. Not only that, I love the soft rubber handles. It's got the hard rub, hard plastic underneath with the soft rubber grip on top. And it's got that hex so that you can put a, a wrench on there to crank and help you get a little bit more leverage. So I thought it'd be cool to go ahead and pick that up. I think, it was a, I think both these were a dollar a piece. So very, very worth the, the price. Then I bought this thing and I don't see a name on it. Now, I don't know if None Better is the name or the brand. I'm not really sure. It says made in the, made in the USA right there. It seems to have a nice, it's nice and it clicks. I didn't feel that there were any, there were any teeth missing. So it seemed to work well. So I'm not really sure if you guys know what this is i would be glad to have that information and be able to share that when i fix this up then the next thing i got was one of these now if you've been with me for a while you will remember when i picked up recently this ball peen hammer <clears throat> and cleaned it up and i think we're going to do something similar with this to tell you the truth, I have never had a use for a pick hammer or a rock hammer. I just um, have never used one, but they're cool. And it's a quality tool, so you just can't turn that down. So I'm going to take, clean this up. A lot of rust and tarnish on it. You can see here where it's painted gray, but I wanna clean this all up, get this handle cleaned up like I did on the ball peen hammer and I think we'll do a a tool scouter blue on there and get that to looking nice. Then the last thing I got <clears throat> was this thing. And this is let me move this stuff around here a little better. This is a true temper, a four pound true temper axe. And the guy only wanted, I can't remember, it was only 12, 15 bucks. And um, just, just to look at these things, I always wonder, okay, how old is it? And anymore, the handle tells me more about a tool than the head does sometimes. So True Temper has a good name, and yet you look at this and look how tight that is all the way around. That's been done properly. Plus it's got those ridges inside the eye 
of the axe, which is nice. Then look at that grain orientation. Somebody paid attention. Somebody was watching. And just look how straight that grain is all the way through there. So I was glad to pick up this True Temper. No, I don't need another axe. Yes, I have plenty of axes, but um, this one here, I just couldn't pass it up for the price. Really good shape. Just a little bit of rust needs to come off, and that will be a pretty, pretty piece. So guys, this is February right now, and I don't usually go down to the open flea markets when it's in the middle of the winter but the weather was so nice today it was sunny it got up to like 56 degrees or something like that so i had to go check it out there weren't very many people out but i feel like i got some really good tools i think it was worth the trip but i probably won't go down there again until probably may late april so um, i'll take you along when we do that and i'm looking forward to cleaning up a lot of these tools that I picked up on this one. We'll be sharing in some of the future videos. So guys, thanks so much for stopping by and visiting me here in the shop. It's always great to have you here. Hope you guys have a great day. God bless.